Hello to all my friends out there. Here we are again, another day. Well, I hope everyone is doing okay. Well, I uh, had um, ham and I had potato salad left over. So I had ham and potato salad and I have leftover hamburger stew. So I really don't need to cook tonight. But I was doing a little preparation for the week. Okay, so uh, let's see. We will have a little black tea. And uh, this is a dollar, this is a Dollar Tree black tea. So I don't know if it has any bougamont in it. So I thought, well, I have uh, oranges grown from my uh, son's garden. So maybe I can concoct myself a special tea. Growing from Lakeside. <laughs> You're really not supposed to squeeze your lemons and oranges into your tea. And so, I think um, I'm trying to find in a thrift store uh, milk glass. So this is a pretty good sugar container, but the cream uh, is um, is cracked. So it really uh, ruins my set. But it might be possible to find. It might be possible to find another creamer. I was at the thrift store today. So let's see. That is actually pretty good. I don't know, you know, in the world of teas how it would be. And then I bought this candy. It's a Mexican candy. And I thought, well, that might be kind of good with this uh, tea. So this video is a little chat on items to stockpile, why I think it's a good thing to stockpile and certain items. So um, yesterday I, I went and I bought a bag of tomatoes and I made some tomato sauce, some marinara sauce. And so it's enough for three meals. So let me give you a recipe. And today I ate a little bowl right after uh, I put it. Um, I put it in the um, crock pot all night, and that was easy. That was super easy. So let me give you the recipe. Uh, the better the tomatoes. Um, you can also put salt, pepper, and sugar in this. And so what you could do with this is you could make homemade noodles if you have everything in your um, your stockpile and you could cut them thin or you could cut them thick and you can make a little lasagna if you had the cheese. And this is, I usually make a half a batch. Uh, you can dry this, you know, dry them out or you can freeze them. I usually freeze the dough. So uh, that is... That is, you know, a good way to save money is, is you buy your produce markdown. So, um, I, I think these are good enough. I just want these, this is green peppers. This was two green peppers and I, it's not quite done on the banana chips. And I had, I mean, apples, dry apples. And you can eat those on your uh, in your granola, or you know you can put them, you can put them in your bread. So I will be um, I have carrots and celery. So one way to avoid uh, wasting is um, dehydration. Okay, so we're in a trade war, so we sanctioned Russia. So what that means is that the countries that were getting stuff from Russia will have to get, get 
things from other places, which will probably inflate the price. So what we would, here's what we would expect price increases on. Container ships, that's what, those would come from China and they're already like a lot more expensive. Electronics, car and truck parts. That is not good because everything is trucked. Okay, now getting to uh, Russia, mineral fruit, uh, fuels like um, oil, precious metals uh, and stones, iron and steel, fertilizer, inorganic chemicals, agricultural products, wheat, plastics, leather products, machinery and transport equipment, barley, corn and wheat. So uh, what we probably want to consider barley, corn and wheat. Okay, so now to get into the discussion of, of, um, of stockpiling food. I posted a good um, video of non-food items to stockpile. Really good video. It's on my Twitter. Just go Rotostone Twitter. So, okay, so let's say it's the beginning of the month. And so you say to yourself, what would be some very, very miserable stuff I could run out of? So at the beginning of the month, Milk, bread, butter, eggs, cheese, and meat. Of, of these, one, two, six items, five are protein foods. Here it is. You can substitute some eggs and some cheese for your um, meat. And you can eat some pretty cheap meat, too like uh, lunch meat, like hot dogs, you know, that kind of thing. Okay, so the number one thing that is very important to uh, remember is tubs of shortening. Those are about $6, $5, $6 now. Gallons of oil and lard. Because during World War II, when the people ran out of, of fats, they were literally starving. So when you're you're thinking about possible food shortages, people are coming out and saying we're heading for a recession. And so we had this, this discussion how they always warn you. Some people are just flat out saying it's going to be a depression or a famine. So we're thinking about milk, bread, butter, eggs, cheese, meat, and tubs of shortening or lard. Okay, so now you might be saying, well, fine for you. I don't have thousands of dollars to spend. Well, the best way actually to stockpile is little by little. Like every time you go to the store, buy one or two items extra. If you find things on sale, that frees up a little money. Or if you find a big package that's reasonable. So how about an extra carton of eggs? If you have eggs, it's going to help you so much. I want to mention something about uh, last night. I made the uh, bread with the buttermilk. I used my homemade yogurt and I put a tablespoon of, of um, vinegar in it. And if you have, if you have that, if you have vinegar and milk and you have buttermilk, I use half and half. Or if you have evaporated milk, that one quarter cup can and sometimes take the place of an egg because not everybody has chickens. Okay, one bag of chicken legs from Walmart. They have the $5 bags of chicken legs, maybe an extra bag. Three cans of evaporated milk. So they're about uh, 12 ounces. Cans are the best. I, I, I posted some videos and they, they say buy cans and buy a lot. But I'm saying if you can't buy a lot, just buy a little bit all the time. So uh, one 12 ounce can mixed with one can of water gives you 24 ounces. So three cans would be about 75 ounces of milk. One canister of oatmeal. Those are usually pretty cheap. I'm looking for big bags. I mean big bags. Um, so now if you have oatmeal, and if you go over here to milk, bread, butter, eggs, cheese, you can have oatmeal with milk, 
And then if you dehydrate fruit and you carefully dehydrate your vegetables, that's one way to make sure uh, to eliminate spoiling. And I keep mine in the freezer. And so if I make something that I think would taste good with a few uh, green peppers, I, I can I have a few. So um, so uh, dehydrated fruit. So I last month dehydrated strawberries, bananas, apples, and then if you have seeds and nuts, that's going to give you a good little meal. Oatmeal with dehydrated vegetables and seeds. And it's a good thing to teach your kids this. One or two cans of soup. I watched one guy today, and he said, don't buy dehydrated cans, I mean dented cans. So I'm giving some of that a thought. But if you're really broke and you can find a can of dented food, a dented can for 50 cents as opposed to a dollar, okay, one or two cans of soup, a box of crackers. You know, the saltines from Walmart and make sure you don't get stale ones. Checks the expiration. One or two uh, cans of tuna. So if you have crackers and you have soup and you have tuna, you know, you can think about it that way. Maybe um, a can of soup, a box of crackers, and a can of tuna. Locate place you can get the produce marked down. So yesterday, I got all kinds of produce at 99 cent only. Today, I went looking and I didn't find too much. Find a store where you can get down, marked down meat and cheese. I usually go to Grocery Outlet or Walmart or smart and final and I just browse around. Consider a package of bologna or hot dogs. And you might be thinking, I don't want to eat those. Well, if it's towards the end of the month and you're running out of food and you have um, some hot dogs and some rice and some sugar and some milk, you just put the, the rice and put the sugar on the rice and the milk and eat some hot dogs it's not bad. There's all kinds of things you can make with hot dogs, but that's one of the things I like. A large box of tea or a small package of coffee. I think they still have the little packages for $1.25, an extra one. If you get money, 10 pounds of hamburger, and then portion them out in quarter pound pieces. Even if you you know you're gonna, um, you're going to cook that a pound at a time, uh, portion them in a quarter pound, and if things get tight, make three quarters of a pound, and then every uh, fourth time, that gives you uh, three quarters of a pound, five portions as opposed to four. Try to locate some place that sells marked down bread. I don't buy stale bread. I prefer to make my bread, but in some cases, it might be better if... If the bread is really cheap, you can't really make it that cheap. One jar of peanut butter. If you can afford a big one, that's good. But if you can only afford a small one, just get a small one. And then a large can of, of fruit, like pears or peaches, because then you can make jam. You just remove the uh, peaches from the juice, cover them with a little water, sugar to your taste, uh, cook them down, and, you know, mash them with the side of the spatula and, until they're, you know, cooked down like my, um, my, um, tomato, uh, marinara sauce. And, um, the other thing with peaches and pears is if you stockpile, I stockpiled these a long time ago, but recently I bought a case because this is a lot of food and you can open it up. And if you have some toast, with some baked beans and some peaches and pears, maybe some hot dogs. <laughs> okay, uh, two pounds of bacon. I What I do is when I get the bacon, I cut it in half so I have four portions of bacon. 10 pounds of potatoes. Okay, I've worn that out. So a pound of potatoes last you a month. Five pounds of rice. So today I was in the thrift store and I got this for $1.99 and I think this will just about hold five pounds of rice. I'm on the lookout for jars and I'm buying everything I possibly can in jars. Okay, one bottle of vinegar. Oh, so I saw them for less than $3 at a gallon for white 
and five dollars a gallon at smart and final so you need that for uh, cheese making or making buttermilk plant green onion celery and lettuce so what i do and i've showed you guys i'll show you because i have a lot of new followers uh, i do this all the time nothing has sprouted yet uh nothing sprouted in the back but i just see how it's already sprouted and when it gets about this high i plant it in the backyard and if things were very tight and you had a little green vegetables that would be awesome just get into the habit of doing it now and harvest all the the seeds this is green peppers and just uh throw them in the a bag maybe you'll never use them maybe you'll never need them that's that would be super okay uh i showed you i bought cans of ham and I'm looking for a good deal on cans of roast beef because the can of roast beef is pretty good and ham, the ham is better than spam. So let me give you a shot of the list in case you guys want to take a screenshot. Even enlarging your stockpile by just one or two cans can really help you. Okay, cheese. Okay, today I bought try to get a cheese. I bought this cheese for $2 at Grocery Outlet. So with this and my marinara sauce and my um, noodle recipe, I could make a, I could make a lasagna. I could make some uh, cheese on my potato bread and eat that. Okay, stockpile baking soda, baking powder, and yeast. They have them for a dollar but if you can afford the big ones, get the big ones. Stockpile salt. And then glass bottles, whatever you do. Uh, the stuff is not coming in glass bottles and we take it for granted that we can always get glass bottles and maybe we can't. Okay, so my spending was reduced because I bought so much stuff. I bought two Diet Cokes for $1.08. I bought the large jar and i bought an atlas and i thought oh great i will look up the ukraine and russia and so here it is this is like the best actual picture i have um i have uh really good maps i almost sold them for like so i bought this for uh a dollar 99 but um i was looking around and all the, the cities that are occupied are the densely populated cities and the cities along the, um, the uh, Black Sea. So um, they're pretty much uh, surrounded uh, from uh, the north. It looks like the east and the south. And then these countries along here where the immigrants or where the refugees are running, um, most of them are running to Poland. I was looking for a, a, a map that showed the highways and I'm looking for maps of when the Ukraine was the Soviet Union. And so there's been, there are things in the news such as the Russians uh, bombed the bridge where the uh, refugees were trying to la leave, but possibly so that the supplies couldn't get in. Uh, possibly, I was trying to figure out, you know, the routes, you know, where uh, things would come in, you know, the highways and byways. But these maps are very, very valuable because they say, uh, what, what was it? It was Paris will uh will burn and the countries um germany uh will will flood and some of the around uh, some of the countries around a deluge and so i've been studying uh i've been studying these um you know these um flood 
flood type things like from reservoirs, like from nature. And generally they would come from the north and then they would, uh, they would flow south. So you wouldn't want to evacuate south of the flooded area sometimes. If you know the water, uh, there are several waterways in uh, the Ukraine. They say the Ukraine is the, blood, uh, the bread basket the European bread basket, not to speak of the natural gas, and America is, is the bread basket. So uh, another thing is, as people are abandoning, possibly the government is going to, it's going to be a government state where the government owns everything. Then last but not least, what I like is I like to eat donuts on Sunday morning. So here is my donut donuts. These are good and I just freeze them and they're so tasty with tea. I'm just gonna have one little donut hole because I already ate two donuts and a donut hole. But um, donuts, I was watching, um, there was a, a currency collapse in Tehran and there was a bakery and the prices were the same as here. So one donut was like a dollar so that's at least here and some of the donuts are not that good so and another thing was remember when i was making the uh, uh, pretzels if you can find a good recipe i think i proved that with the buttermilk uh i mean with the potato bread so here is the donut recipe right here I will put this on my uh, Twitter for you guys, and you can see the other good videos I did too. Here is the rest of it, right here. So you guys can make yourselves some donuts for Sunday morning. Let me give you the old fashioned sugar glaze. So everywhere we can possibly save a dollar, and the more food we can stock up, the better off we, we are. And so if you have food, just be saying, well, what could I do? Now, in my case, I need water. And then the other thing is I'm just going to be hoarding money now for the rest of the year. But you can do all three at the same time. You can hoard money, you can stockpile a little food, and you can make use of the food you already have. And you can buy the food marked down really, really cheap. And you can dehydrate it and freeze it. And then you don't have to keep buying food. And it's so much cheaper when you uh, dehydrate your food, your own food, because you don't um, waste. And one of the followers said once he start, they started uh, freezing all the leftovers, they never ran out of uh, food again. So... The comments are really good. So take a look at the comments if you have any good comments or you have done a good video. If you could let us know, that would be awesome too. Okay, you guys, I will see you tomorrow. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And God bless you all.